How's it going everyone? Today is Friday. Uh, it is a rainy day and I gotta go to work today. Well, I just came back home from work. Man, it was a rainy day. Uh, but we get it done, uh, as promised. And I got rumors that I'm gonna be working tomorrow. So, this is still gonna be raining tomorrow. So just give me your prayers, give me the patience, you know. Um, yeah, anyway. So today is Friday, and you know what time is it? It is Bible reading time, and uh, I'm going to be reading Psalms 148. Um, if you like the book of Psalms, I do too, and this is going to be a blessing. I just know it. Alright, so I'm going to be reading out of the modern English version. <clears throat> modern English version. And it reads, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the height in the heights. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his heavenly hosts. Praise him sun and moon, praise him all you stars of light. Praise him you heights of heavens and you waters that are above the sky. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded, and they were created. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree that shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the uh, from the earth. Storms, oh, sorry, stormy winds fulfilling his word. Mounds and all hills. Fruitful trees and all cedars, animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all the people. Sorry, in all people, pre. Sorry, not priests. Um, prince and all the rulers of the earth, both young men and maids, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. He has risen up a victory horn for his people, praise for all his saints, even for the people of Israel near him. Praise the Lord. And that's the end of Psalms 148. Man, that's a beautiful psalm because, you know, um, you know, the scripture tells us to praise the Lord. Give God thanksgiving. Um, you know, I just I just want to thank the Lord for this week, even though it was a rainy week. Uh, it's, it's been a crazy week um, this week. You know, I've been working on when I would try to do pine straw and mulch. But. You know, I give God all the glory and praise for what he has done. Um, you know, even though times will be tough, times the world, you know, I, I feel like, you know, this never, this never going to end. You know, even even if, you know, I give, I, give, I give God praise for the health that I, I'm in. You know, I, you know uh, even though, you know, I'm, I'm feeling uh, for some reason like a muscle... Um, muscle. Well, I don't know what 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 to call it, but it's kind of hard to kind of close my hand on my left side. Um, but yeah, you know, but I give all the praise and glory. You know, I give God. Um, you know, God, God deserved the praise. Um, there's no other word for it. You know, even if I uh, study. Uh, astronomy and uh, biology. You know, I thank the Lord for creating life. I thank the Lord for um, creating different planets that I can see in the early morning sky before I head to work. You know, I give all the glory to God because He's He's He He's all that I need. He He's all that I wanted. You know, even go even going through uh, the toughest situation you know god always gets the glory no matter what how 
He does. You know, God gave us new opportunities to witness uh, to somebody who needs to hear the gospel. You know, give God praise. Uh, you know, if, if you know if your marriage are restored, or if 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 you are in a struggle in your marriage, you know, give God praise. Uh, worship is the best way to gain victory over your life. Even if you know, even if you're looking for a job, you know, give God praise. Worship the Lord, uh, and and believe that the Lord will give you the opportunity to get a job. You know, I know it's gonna be weeks, even months, just to get your either your first job or 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 an opportunity to go to school. You know, to go to a uh, community college, be a uh, apprentice. Uh, you know, be you know learn learn the way of you know plumbing or landscaping or whatever that. That you can learn because I, for me, I, I get paid to learn landscaping, even though I'm not perfect on landscaping, but I learn so much through landscaping. But I give God praise, you know, for the opportunity. You know, I'm not saying that I don't like my, I not well, I'm not saying that I hate my job. Um, there's pros and cons to becoming a landscaper. Um, if you're new to landscaping, you know, they will, you know, train you how to weed. They will train you how to use an edger or, uh, they will train you how to mulch or pine straw something. You know, it's all about learning different opportunities. Um, yeah, just, you know, how... And, and also the scripture says that we should worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Um, you know, are we digging into the word of God? You know, to believe in faith that the word of God has, has changed our lives. You know, God truly is an, the author and finisher of our, of our faith. And that we should fight the good fight of faith that the Bible says. Um, you know, for me, I, I almost finished reading the, uh, the entire Bible in two months. You know, that, that, that's a habit that I'm going to be taking because I need the word to sink into my heart, uh, and, and also to apply the word of God in my daily life because I need to be more mature than yesterday. I need to be more uh, faithful unto the Lord than yesterday. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, I make my uh, mistakes. Um, but I want to, to strive to that narrow way. To be the few that will lead, uh, that, that will lead to that narrow way, basically. You know, you know God is awesome. God is all that we need. God is everything that we wanted. You know, uh, you know, let's, let's give God praise for what He has done. Um, you know, it, you know, the, the Holy Spirit just now just you know really convicted me about something that I need to repent of. Um, you know, in my personal life, but under, you know, I got to understand that. You know, nobody is perfect, but we are striving in holiness. Even though I've never gone into like a camp meeting or revival meeting or tent meetings, stuff like that. But I do grasp about the doctrine of holiness. Um, even though now I don't, for me, a sinless perfection, the doctrine of Sinless perfection is kind of, uh, it's just not, uh, I, just, I just don't feel it, you know. But the doctrine of holiness is, you know, is the, in, about, uh, what about I say, um, the, the doctrine of holiness is 
um, is part of the Christian walk. You know, you are being separated out of the world. You know, and that we got to love one another as Christ loves us. You know, we should love our neighbors as ourselves. Um, yeah, so always praise Him. Uh, no matter what situation, no matter what situation you are in. But always remember that the Lord is with you always. <laughs> Give thanks unto the Lord. And, uh. Yeah, so, Dana, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, so, I hope that you guys have a great, great weekend. Sunday, actually tomorrow, actually, I'm going to be doing the Saturday reads. And I may be showing you some books that I'm going to be reading for the month of March. Uh, and then I'll be preaching my sermon on Sunday. So, I guess, uh, thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and keep you. If you got prayer requests, comment. If you got any suggestive topics that you want me to cover, link uh, comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear your uh, your what what topics that you want me to talk about. Maybe on Monday, um, you know, yeah. So, but then uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again. Later.